Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great today and having a wonderful week so far. Uh, it's a short week for many people with having Monday off for Memorial Day, so that is always nice. Anyway, I am back with a um, Dollar Tree haul. I did finally make it into Dollar Tree uh, just to kind of check out the new products that they have. My cat is playing with the Dollar Tree bags right here. Sophie, it's okay. You gonna lay on them? Okay. Anyway, so I did find a couple of new things, um, some things that I had seen other um, Dollar Tree YouTubers haul, so I was excited about that. But anyway, let's just jump into it. It's gonna be in no particular order. I'm just gonna kinda do it as I come to it. So let's start off with the boring thing, which is just Scott toilet paper. This is the only toilet paper that we will use, so I pick up a package every time we go. The next thing that I found was this package of oyster crackers. And um, I like to keep these on hand because they just make a great little snack or when your tummy's not feeling good, you can just eat some of these and kind of, you know, calm it down. And I don't know, I just like snacking on these. Get a handful of them and I snack on them all throughout the day. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed a package of just the uh, pinto beans. This is the Kojak brand. I have never tried this brand, but I mean, it's a bean. I figure it can't be that bad. So anyway, I'm gonna give these a try. So grab the bag of those. And I am drinking me some lemonade because um, allergies are killing me again. All this rain we've had and all the stuff that's blowing through here is just about to kill me. So I did bring my lemonade with me. Uh, Food-wise, I also found the Skippy Peanut Butter Bites and Graham Cracker. Um, I really like the pretzel ones. I'm not a big, big fan of the Graham Cracker ones, but at the grocery store, these are like almost $4 a container. So, to get it for a dollar, heck yeah. And it is good until August. So, I mean, we will have these eaten way before then. So I just picked up one container of those. And the next kind of food thing, or the last food thing I think is this. This is Country Time Lemonade. Yes, you guys, I found this uh, 64 fluid ounces of the name brand Country Time Lemonade. And it is good until October of this year. And this is so funny because my husband and I were just talking about, we got lemonades the other day when we were out and about, and we were both talking about how much we've been craving lemonade. And so I ran across this today, so I grabbed it. And um, I'm not drinking this lemonade in my cup. I'm actually drinking a lemonade from Wendy's right now. But anyway, I will be refilling it with this. So grab that. I thought that was a really good buy. So I'm excited about that. Uh, let's see, moving on, I just grabbed um, another one of these uh, Essentials Mi Microfiber Duster Mop Pad. Uh, I've had these before, they work wonderful. I have just worn mine out and washed them so many times they're not even fluffy anymore. So, grabbed me another one of those. Also, I grabbed me a pair of the Juncture Socks. Now, these are kid sizes of uh, five to nine but I have a very small foot. I wear like a six and a half, seven. So I think these will fit me perfect. And I love the tie-dye and then it's got a solid pink and then it's got the striped pair. So I thought these were super cute and summery. So, and I love the tie-dye. So I grabbed those for myself. Uh, also grabbed, uh, they had the big packs of Tumbling Tower Blocks. So, can never have too many of these when you're crafting. So, grabbed, um, grabbed a box of these to have on hand. Also found this um, grill scrubber. Bought this for my husband. Um, heavy duty scouring sponge. It is spongy on the top side and then the bottom side is your scouring pad. I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree before, so I don't know anything about them, how good they work, any of that. But I thought, you know, it's worth a try for a dollar. We'll give it a try, you know, if it falls apart the first time, then okay. Anyway, so grab that for my husband. And then the next thing I found was this cute little candle. 
and I love the blue shades. I'm trying to incorporate more blues into my decor. I don't know why I've never been a blue person, but for some reason I am loving blue this year and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just so bright and pretty and I don't know. It just, blue makes me feel good. So, and it has the cute little tassel, the little wooden lid. And this is wood, sage, and sea salt. And it smells really, really good. Of course, Dollar Tree candles don't usually um, have a lot of scent when you're burning them. So I mainly bought this to go on a tiered tray. I thought it would be super cute. Probably won't ever burn it, but I just love the design. And they did have, <clears throat> excuse me, they did have, I think, two or three other colors besides the blue, but I really like the blue, so I grabbed that. And then I found these, and I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree either. So I got two of these. And this is the um, American flag kit. And it is the whole kit. Like you get the mount, the screws, everything that you need to assemble the flag. So I thought that was really cool. I mean, I don't expect it to be heavy duty and last for a long time. But I mean, for a dollar and with the holidays coming up, I just thought, you know, even if I just put it up for that period of time, you know, for the 4th of July and then took it down, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't expect it to be the best quality, but you know, the whole kit for a dollar. So I grabbed two of them. Um, I know I've talked about it before, but my son is uh, active duty in the military. My husband and my father are veterans. And then I have two nephews that are active military. So very large military family that I am in. So I do like to show my support for our soldiers in our country. So uh, the next thing that I grabbed is uh, these little paper shapes and it's the boy and the girl. Never seen these at my store. There is 10 in each package. Now what I plan to do with this is make me a little sign to hang up in my bathroom. You know, men, women's, I just thought that would be super cute. I've looked at those before at Hobby Lobby and they're like $20 for the metal sign with the little boy and girl decals. And I thought, you know what? I can make something so much cheaper than that. So, and there's a lot of these. So I have, will have plenty of these left over if I wanna make some additional ones, you know, to give as a gift or whatever. If somebody just wants one, I can make them one cause I'll have plenty of these. So grab uh, one of each of those. I also grabbed uh, two packages of the self-adhesive stencils. I got the letters and then I got this design. And the reason that I got these is because I just ordered me some etching cream. I have never seen the etching cream at my Dollar Tree that I know some of y'all have found in haul. So I ordered mine from Amazon and um, I haven't tried it yet. I just got it the other day, but on my bottle, it does say that it works best with, of course, their brand of adhesive stencils, but I thought I would give it a try. I'm just gonna try it on a sample piece of glass that I have, an old cup I'm not using anymore, just to see how it turns out. So I did buy two of these. These were the only two designs in the self-adhesive stencils that they had. Um, at my Dollar Tree, so grabbed one of those, one of each of those. And then I also found the little uh, tin can, the little farm truck American tin can. So thought that was super cute. I think I'm gonna maybe redo this or just wrap this in jute twine or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was really cute and I will, you know, do something to dress it up. It would be cute to put a, make you a little topiary tree to put in there that would be super cute to set out for the 4th of July so grab that also grab a package of the jumbo skewers um, I don't find these at my store very often I have seen them in there before but I have been looking for these and um, they haven't had any so they had some today so I grabbed a package and there is 12 in here 12 in this package so I grabbed that and also 
I just grabbed um, two boxes of uh, acetaminophen or Tylenol. I picked this up for my mom. This is really all that she can take as far as pain relievers go. So picked that up for her. There's 40 in each bottle, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I also grabbed just this Salon Selective uh, Volumizing Hairspray. It's the level two. Anyway, what I bought this for is I have ordered uh, several pampas bushes, pampas grass, to put in vases and kind of for decor, but they shed so bad. So um, I read somewhere that you could spray a light coat of hairspray on them and it will help with the shedding. So that's what I bought this for. I didn't want to waste my expensive hairspray on those. So I just grabbed a cheap can uh, to use for that. And then I found uh, the Ultra Fine Tip Sharpie Pen. I thought that I had one of these, but I was looking for it the other day and I could not find it. This is the Sharpie brand. So, you know, is a name brand for a dollar. I don't know what this would run at Walmart. Probably not much more than a dollar, but I do know it's more than a dollar at Walmart. So anyway, picked that up. Also picked up another box. I had this in my last uh, Dollar Tree haul video. This is the Fox in the Box, um, the baked bronzer. And it is the same shade as I had last time, but I picked up another box because I have been using this and y'all, I love this bronzer. To me, it is so much better than the $20, $30, $40 bronzers that you buy from Ulta, Sephora, wherever. This, to me, in my opinion, works so much better than those. The coloring is, for my skin tone, I think the coloring is great. It blends very well. I mean, it smells like chocolate. So, you know, who doesn't want chocolate all over their face, right? Um, anyway, so uh, it does have a shimmer to it. That is the only thing. But, uh, you know, when I blend my uh, blush in, then uh, I think that, you know, it just blends together really well. So really, really am loving this. I'm glad I come across it. I'm glad I picked up this, the package last time I bought one. So anyway, I wanted to have one on hand. So I grabbed that. And then today I also found the Hard Candy uh, Translucent Loose Powder. So picked this up. This is the big full, you know, full size regular package. Um, 12 hour matte finish, oil free loose powder and it is in the shade 1385 whatever that means it's light it's a very light shade so anyway pick this up because you know it is name brand and um walmart my walmart used to carry hard candy but they no longer carry hard candy at my local walmart so i know this was a way more than a dollar at walmart so i feel like this was a really good deal too so Anyway, I grabbed that, but that is it, you guys. I know that was kind of a small Dollar Tree haul, but um, wasn't really anything new out other than what I grabbed. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I have. Um, do have a May favorites video coming very soon. I'm gonna try to get it done right after this one. So make sure you check that out after you watch this video. And I hope that everyone does have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week and a great weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.